Hello crafters and welcome to Peter P Crafts online craft show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community. Now I'm your host Michelle Brown, creative director from Picture to Page and we are so excited to have you joining us for this weekend of crafty inspiration. Now the Peter P Crafts online show has over 30 demonstrations over the next three days with our talented retailers and some very special guest artists. So for all the details, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see all the links, get the up-to-date information and get in touch with our retailers and our guests so that you can continue to support them and continue to be inspired by them as well. Now, while you're on our website, make sure you sign up to our email list because then we can send you all the updates, let you know when the replays are ready to go and generally connecting through our crafting community. Now, our sponsors, of course, we need to thank our sponsors. Firstly, we have Darkroom Door, who's a family-owned business in New South Wales specialising in stamping and, and stencils, supporting independent retailers and continuing to inspire crafters through their YouTube and Facebook demonstrations. And we have Uniquely Creative who curate gorgeous kits every month with their Creative Kit Club. They send you all the stamps, the embellishments, the cards, everything you need and just a whole heap of instructions to keep you crafting each month. And we really do thank our sponsors for our support for this series. Now, whether you're watching here live on Facebook or you're watching a replay, catching up with us later or watching us again, we would love to know that you're there. So pop in the comments, say hi, give us a like and a thumbs up and generally share us with your crafty friends and let us know that you're there. Now today, let's get started as Peter P. Craft is online with Scrap Mats. Hello, Sophie. Hi Michelle. It's so, Hi everyone. It is so lovely to see you again. I hear you've been busy with your website again. lately. Absolutely, absolutely. We've got a new website that uh, we've had to uh, generate and have fun inputting. So that, that's been a challenge this, this month. But we got there slowly. Yeah, excellent. And I love that you've put all the products that you're showing us today all in one spot on the website. Yes, we'll go through that when I when we start showing all the products and explain to the ladies where to find that. But yes, on the home page we have put a, a dedicated section for picture to page and this online online show and this this actual demonstration that we're doing today. Oh, excellent. Now, for those that may not have heard of scrap mats before, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, we've been in the craft industry for about thirty four years, so quite a long time, and we had like a general craft store. I've been I've had shops for twenty five years. So I've done that end of it, um, very hard, but rewarding. Mm -hmm. And now we just work from home and just concentrate on scrap match, which we design and manufacture here in in our office in Sydney. And it's all Australian made and our chipboard and our stencils, we design and we manufacture them here at home. So and that keeps us quite busy. <laughs> Excellent. And I really love the scrap match range because it really can adapt for any paper crafts, whether it's card making, scrapbooking, Absolutely. art journaling. It just goes That's across That's exactly everything. right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's very, very versatile. Very versatile problem. And we're going to, you know, use some today. I'm going to show you how to use some and how to ink it and how to do something different with it. Ah, something Always something different. different. Always something different that maybe people don't know that they can do with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And I know, Sophie, you're always so full of tips, so it's always good to... It will be another tip day to day. Excellent. Always full of tips because, you know, some people... Some people mightn't have thought that, and they went, oh, yes, that is possible. Mm -hmm. So just to – and also to make a chipboard go a little bit further, um, your kits go a little bit further as well, and you'll understand that when I ex explain. That'll be one of the tips today. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Well, are you ready to jump right in? <laughs> Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, so why Sophie gets her camera ready. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Maria. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Debbie. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We're really looking forward to seeing that scrap mats, and like we said, Every time we've had Sophie join us, she's just given us such a lovely range of tips and techniques. Some we might have heard before and perhaps forgotten, some we might use, and then some brand new ones as well. So it looks like Sophie is ready to go. So Sophie, take it away. Hello. Yep, you're ready what we're to go. Off with is our new. Sorry. Yep, take it I'm away. Breaking up. Yes, we have. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to start off with is our new website and our offer. For today and up until Sunday midnight, we are offering all the P2P ladies who are watching today a free postage for Australian residents only for any purchase, $25 and over. 
that doesn't ex include postage, so it has to be of products. Now, there's a code that you put in, and the code is P2P2020. And now it's case sensitive, so make sure you do lowercase, your 2P is a lowercase. Okay, and if you also go to our new web www.scrapmats.com, there's a section there called events, and in that events section, there's an online events section. And if you click that online events section, there is a dedicated um, section or category for the picture to page online sand down show, which we're, we're doing this weekend. And in there, you'll find most of the products that I am showcasing today in this talk, which means you don't have to go looking for them on the website. If there's anything there you, you can't find, just let, let me know. Okay, and I can do that and find it for you. So let's start off with new kits. So I'm just going to push that aside and just bring in some new kits and have a little chat about that. Okay, now these are some of the card kits. This is one of our flip cards. Oh, that's very cute. It's very cute, very pretty. And this, this one has been... It's just a nice, plain card, but very elegant. Hmm. And these two cards make up a kit. Oh, okay. So you get two different cards in one kit. In one kit. That's right. This is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite. It's a bauble. It's a lovely, lovely bauble. It contains everything in there, the flowers, the gems, even the image. But you can take that image out and use your own image of your grandkids and just and on the back, you can write the date that it was made. So just something a little bit different. Is that in focus? Yes, yeah, it looks good. You're just cutting in and out a little bit, but the internet is holding on. Uh, in, the internet's holding on. These are my little vintage cards with a reindeer, some music sheets, and a little Christmas tree. Oh, I love those. They're very, very popular. And, and the, bot, the background there is in bot. Is in bot. Oh. And you actually receive it in the kit already embossed. Oh, that's a good tip. So you don't have to go look for a folder. <laughs> it's already embossed. And this is actually one of the, my favourites, a little hanging stars. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. And what I'm focusing on today is not just cards, but a little bit of off-the-page stuff. So I love those three stars. They've been really, really popular and really, very cute. And you can do your own colourways. Now, keeping the theme of off the page, this is a little shaker card. <laughs> and I've always, always wanted to do a snow globe. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little snow globe. This is an actual kit on its own, right. and it comes with a snow globe, all the gems, and all the stuff inside, the shaker compartments. And I'm just going to pull it. This is the kit, the actual piece that you could buy if you just want to create your own. I'm just going to pull it out a bit. It actually comes with a sheet of acetate as well. Ah, oh, that's handy. That's already... Yes. All the little embellishments and also all the layers. Ah, that's that what we to create don't it. see once it's together. That, that's, that's right. And special in there, or put something else there. You can actually push that out as well, ink it, and then put it back in. Uh -huh. If you notice on mine, I've edged it internally. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's how you did it. Lovely. That's how I did it because it comes out. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do that. Now, one of my most favourite projects is my screens. <gasps> I'm just going to try to sit that up. Okay, mm -hmm. these are called vintage screens. Now, the, all the stuff that I'm showing you today, the finished projects, they are available as kits on our site. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you're looking at an off-the-page page project like this, one, Christmas, you can bring it out every year. Mm -hmm. It doesn't date, especially vintage. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to show you my little poinsettias there. I love my poinsettias with the bling. <laughs> We're actually going to go through and make a poinsettia and just show you how to do something different with it. Oh, lovely. So that, that will be our design today. Now, this is a three-section screen. Mm -hmm. 
we also have it in a two section screen so that's the packet you can buy the screens on their own mm -hmm. so the one with three three sections is fifteen dollars and the one with the two sections is ten dollars right so if you only want a left and a right you can do that either way mm -hmm. now if you notice here there's three different sections what i've actually done is every section you can actually use that to make a card that is a concept oh. Oh, yes. That is a concept, that's a concept, and that's a concept. So you can take what you've learnt there, the layering and the and and how to place your chipboard and all the embellishments. You can take that, then put it onto a card. So you've learnt a technique, move it onto your cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very, very pretty. Now, again, everyone knows that I love, 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 love my off the page. <laughs> because uh, I just do. <laughs> Oh, that is stunning, Sophie. This is an 8x8. Eight eight. Mm -hmm. It also comes with the stand in the kit. It's got some charms in it. It's got some stenciling. It's got some bling, some gauze, everything. And again, you've got four projects there that you can convert into cards. Mm -hmm. So square cards, rectangular cards. You can make use of what you've learnt in the layering and then put those onto card concepts as well. And use charms. I use a, a lot of charms in my cards and my projects. I just think it just adds a little bit of, it makes it a bit more classy. Yeah. But that's me. Again, you're layering, you've learnt something. Now, these are our, our art frames. We haven't spoken about our art frames. No, we haven't. And they, no, and they come in three pieces. Mm -hmm. So this is how they come, which is the one I'm using under mm -hmm. so there. And it allows you to do and build it up and put things in there. Oh. pictures or other stuff mm -hmm. and they've, they've been a really good concept and very popular now that's an art frame it is <laughs> it's a 12 by 12 with nine openings mm -hmm. now what I didn't mention with the the other art frame and this art frame I don't use foam tape underneath these to raise them I actually have chipboard under oh, okay. there so if I do that, that's not going to, you know how you use foam tape sometimes at bows after time? Yeah. This won't because I have a solid piece under there. Right. So these are not going to, these are not going to go anywhere. So again, nine projects, nine card concepts that you could use. Mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of colouring there, a lot of layering, and it's just to, uh, to show you, it's, you can also replace some of these with photos as well. Okay. There's no reason why you can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These images do come in the kit. And this is a kit that's available online. So it's just another 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 thing that I, I again, this also comes with a frame as well. Right. So I'm really, really happy with that. <laughs> and this is the art frame. Again, three pieces for you to play with. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're, they're really, really versatile. Yeah. And, and that black layer just gives it such depth. It gives a definition as well. It frames every single individual compartment as well, and it, it, it does, it, and it saves you having to edge it black yourself. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on with some new designs. Ooh, we like new designs. New, yes. So this is a 12, this is a, in an A4 packet, mm -hmm. um, mainly for 12 by 12 um, projects. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, one of our string circles with some holly. And there's also some uh, words in there as well. That's about $12.50 there. The code and the number are there. Yep. So that's beautiful. And. Oh, wow. Wow, yes. We also do some red chipboard, mm -hmm. especially for Christmas. And we find that this works really well because people just take it out of the packet mm -hmm. and just use it straight away. They don't have to ink it. Mm -hmm. They don't have to do anything. And these are all nicely engraved, and they're just they're just really really lovely. I was going to pick a piece up, but it's glued down. <laughs> and it does come with some sentiments. Mm -hmm. This top one here, and this is just really really unique and different. Mm, it's so just, delicate and very delicate. Nice on the top of a card or a layout. They work or a project work really really well. Now for some fun. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to work on some poinsettias. This is the poinsettia packets that we have. Mm -hmm. And they just come loose 
all, all together. It has the poinsettias that you can layer them, they're called layered poinsettias, mm -hmm. the centres and also some leaves. Now here are some just some finished ones. I'll just put it on the back so you can see it better. Went through and I found some finished ones. They're very, very pretty. Some I've just done in two colours, in you know, solid, solid, and some I've just added a colour. You can add a bit of bling in the middle or this is also available in the packet. It's a little... Mm -hmm. The centres, I've just inked that gold. Yeah. They're also available in the packet. To show the white packet. These little bits here. Mm -hmm. There's enough in there for them. So just having some fun with it. And I just like to create and play with it. Now, I am going to do one now. Let's go. The ink I like to use is my Brilliance ink. Uh -huh. And that's because it doesn't soak into the chipboard and it sits on top. So what I've done here, when I do white, we're going to start off with, oh, I might have to do it that way because it's white. That's my raw. That has one coating of ink and these have two coatings of ink on them. Okay. I like to do two with the white. I get a, a nice deeper white and a stronger white. And sometimes, especially if my ink pad doesn't have a lot of ink, mm. It helps. So when I've done that, then because I don't like it plain, I'll get some gold and I'll just edge a bit of gold. And the Galaxy Gold in the Brilliance actually has a beautiful shimmer to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has an absolutely beautiful, beautiful shimmer to it. So I'll just do the second one quickly because I don't take that long. Now, and that I direct could, paper from ink pad is such a cool technique. It's so quick and easy. I, I'm actually a lazy inker. <laughs> and you're not supposed to use your ink pads that way, but I find I, I get it's more effective for me. Now, I can just layer them one on top of the other, or I can use some foam squares to elevate it up. Mm -hmm. But let's have a little play. You get your chipboard. Again, being paper towel, I need a little bit of more dimension. Mm -hmm. There's no dimension there for me. So what I'm going to do, and I know people are going to cringe, I'm going to bend the chipboard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, that looks quite extreme from here. <laughs> it is extreme, but look at it. Look at it now. Yeah. And look at the effect. Mm -hmm. So now when I put it on top... Oh, Get a bit really more dimension. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let's do it again for the second one. Now I'm okay. using the wood chipboard. Okay. Hold on, everyone. We're bending chipboard. Hold on, everyone. Sophie's doing something that you know <laughs> most people won't do with chipboard. This is what I want was explained to you that chipboard is much more flexible than what we what we yeah. think. Yeah. It is much more flexible. Usually we only do that by accident. No, I do it on purpose. And look at that. Yeah. Oh, it makes such I've got a more difference. Of it, it makes such a difference. To that mm. and on your projects or on your cards it's really really pretty mm -hmm. I would actually put some foam squares some foam square on top of that let's just see if I can get it in there quickly just to elevate it a bit mm. I won't glue it down but just to raise it up mm. yep and some leaves behind and a bit of bling Oh, and voila. Yeah, they're lovely. And yet again, just those few simple techniques make all the difference. Just bending that chipboard, you think it's going to break off, but it doesn't. It is actually quite durable. Mm. Very, very durable. So that's a, just a little technique. Also, if you don't want to put a second ink, you can go around with a pen. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And just do a little bit of inking there. But also the, the gold on the red looks magnificent. Yeah, that really does. Yes, you get a nice little shimmer. And I do it before I actually put it all together. That way I get the shimmer where I want it. Mm. But yeah, it's a really cool technique. Very, very pretty. Okay. Now, this chipboard, as I said, comes in raw or white. Mm -hmm. For inking and for, for manipulating it, mm -hmm. I would recommend the raw. Right. If you're going to use the white, you might need to spritz the back of it to just to soften it a little bit. Okay. Don't soak it. Right. 
but just to soften it a bit. I don't with the raw. As you saw, I just sat there and straight away I just manipulated it and just did what I had to do. Okay, now let's go on to the next thing. Okay, now new projects, new stuff, new stuff, always new stuff here at Scrap Max. You guys have been so busy. Yes. We actually have a range of MDF wood products. Oh. Right. These particular ones aren't quite up online yet, but they're going to be. And what they are is, as we said, MDF. Mm -hmm. But apart from being able to ink chipboard, you can also ink your MDF exactly the same way. I know, I know I shouldn't be doing it straight on, but I do. <laughs> we so won't tell anyone. Let's have that. I just, I just have to. So I'm going to get this join piece. I'm going to get my beam. Again, ready, straight on. And again, just straight on. It does not absorb. Yeah, real. That colour is so strong. It's so strong and it sits on top. I'm just going to hold it lightly. Yeah. The colour sits on top. Yeah. Do I need to put a bit of white board behind so it? So, yeah, you, 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 give it just, you can see it's still a bit damp, so just give it a bit of time. It's it still a bit damp. damp. Yep, it, it takes a little bit longer to dry, mm -hmm. but it's it's quite easy. And you get that effect. Nice. And, again, you can put a bit of bling on there. Use some mists if you want to put a little bit of mist and, and covering over that. Edge with a little bit of gold when it's dry, just for something different. Add a bit of snow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, That's and that lovely. bow is gorgeous. That bow we actually sell. We actually sell that bow. Mm -hmm. And I've put a bit, a bit of bling in there. But you know your, your charms? You can also use your brilliance ink on your charms and ink them and put a bit of colour on them with those as well. Oh, okay. Quite easily. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. Mm -hmm. If I've got my gold, no, I don't want my gold, get a bit of white. Mm. Okay. Ready? Okay. You're taking us to new places, Sophie. I'm, look at that. Oh, wow. Right. The charms are not online yet, yeah. but we're going to get them up. We're going to get them up soon. Mm -hmm. But this is one of my, my most favourite, favourite charms. I've had it for years. Look what I'm doing. Yeah. A little bit of ink. Oh, it and it just changes the charm to fit in with the project. Yeah, it does. You can do that with all your charms. And we all know if we're going to heat set charms, do not touch them. <laughs> <laughs> yes use I think caution. we've all done that I think we've all done that yeah. used out put the charm heated it up and just gone no yeah. it's burnt my fingers you can have some beautiful little creations for your, your trees mm, I love that that's just so pretty it's one of our larger ones hmm. but you know that's just a bit of white with a little bit of gold on it and again the charm and and in the charms here I've added a bit of bling oh yeah just to highlight it a bit. Mm. Now, these are some new ones that we're bringing out. Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas 2020. If you want to give it... Well, a lot of my ladies, what they do is mm. they will actually ink that up and put that on the front of the card. Oh, okay. So when someone gets it and they tie the string, they, they decorate it. Mm. So when they get, get it, they just take it off there and put it straight onto their tree. Oh, what a great idea. Two projects for the price of one. Two projects, for the, and you've done your Christmas card, and you've given them a, a small present. You know, for someone you want to give them something, mm. but not too big, not you know, a nice small present, yeah. that's the thing to do. Yeah, and particularly so if all of our presents have to go through the post this year, that's a good way of reaching out. Well, we actually have to, um, I don't know about you, but in Sydney we were told that we have to, um, all Christmas post has, there's an earlier date. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure we're thinking that far ahead in Melbourne just yet. Uh, now. <laughs> Okay, <gasps> we have now what started. Says there is one. That says Michelle. We are now doing on, and it's on offered on our website at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's under scrap mats, under wood products, personalized ornaments. Wow. So if you've got, you want to do, you want to send mm -hmm. one to someone online from us. Right. So we've got a couple of designs. We've got the plane. We've got with Christmas trees. We've got with little baubles or circles. And we've got a oh. So they'll do for men, for boys, girls. They'll do for both. Mm -hmm. 
There's always the plane. Yep. And you can also have it with 2020 underneath. Right. Oh, lovely. Especially like for a baby's first Christmas or... Well, yep, yeah, we're, we're going to do that as we have, we have got that done up as well. I just don't have the sample here at the moment. But they, these are coming in two sizes at the moment, the small and the medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And just magically it appears, John's first Christmas. Oh, how beautiful. So they'll be available as well mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, but uh, these down here they're available now. Mm -hmm. But we haven't done the the, um, the first Christmas yep. one yet, and we're also looking at doing some animal ones. Ah, oh. you know, for the furry for the mm -hmm. furry friends, the four le our yep. four legged friends that live in our, in our house, I'm doing some for them as well. Oh. They're coming up as well, but we just haven't finalised those. So and just some fun and something different. And we've been asked constantly ask for personalized christmas ornaments yeah constantly ask for them so we thought okay new website new direction let's go for it um also all i've done there is i've just put a little bit of glue and some glitter oh okay yeah we can't quite see the glitter unfortunately not... can't quite see the glitter uh... oh yeah we can just the light's just catching it now the light's just catching it if i just move it just, oh, yeah. just i mean glitter's yeah. always better in person we can just see. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. So these are all, again, all our personalised stuff. Um, we're going to go back to now the personalised stuff. The small custom names start at six fifty, and the mediums from eight dollars. Mm -hmm. But that will be on the website. We're just going to go back to our website because I'm about we're having fun here. Yeah. Don't forget our promotion, our P to P twenty case sensitive. Mm -hmm. You need, you need to put that in for any of your orders for $25 or over. And this is for Australian residents only. Mm -hmm. And it's starting now until midnight Sunday. Midnight Sunday. Excellent. Midnight Sunday. So, yeah. Website is www.scrapmats.com. If there's anything there that you can't find or, hey, I'd like this and it's not there, just give us a call or leave a little note in there and we'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. That's, the pro that's probably the easiest way to, to do it all. Yeah, definitely. Okay. 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 I think that's about I think I've done about everything. Oh, good. Oh, I'll give you a moment to get the camera yep. back and then we'll have a chat. And I'm on. Yeah, not a problem. Excellent. Oh, weren't they just, oh, it just makes me want to dive into Christmas craft straight away. I just love some of those charms. And even for those that don't celebrate Christmas, I can see so many different uses for them as well, just as um, door hanging decorations or adding them onto wreaths, you know, something for all all different holidays and occasions. So excellent. So Sophie, they were just lovely. Thank you so much for sharing those with us today. Thank you. I just want to show people also that the MDF, you, how you can use it with your with your inks mm -hmm. and incorporate it with your off your page projects and and all your other stuff and just treat it like chipboard. I do, yep. except I can't bend it. Yeah, true. I can't get my hands in there to bend it. <laughs> okay. I break yeah. it. Now we just had two quick questions. Firstly, yes. Trish was just asking, what do you use to glue the flower level layers together? Um, I would use a tacky glue. Mm -hmm. I like to use the the turbo tacky. Yep. Right, because one turbo, it's it's quick drying, mm -hmm. but you can also use your um your foam squares. Oh, okay, yep. To elevate the, to elevate the flowers and give them a little bit more dimension, mm -hmm. because um I didn't I didn't actually sit down and glue it yep. today because it gets fiddly. I I have actually trouble getting that paper off the top of the foam <laughs> square. Yes, and I didn't want to embarrass myself. No, and there's nothing like trying to do that under pressure to make it like almost impossible to happen. No, no, and I didn't want to do it under pressure. And and to be honest, if I use the foam squares, I will use ink. I will glue it as well. Right. Yeah, and I guess it depends again what the project is. If it's sort of going to sit up and not be handled, then that's one thing. Versus if it's sort of a card or a charm, then you might want a bit more robust glue on it. I I, I will do that because I just need it to just to stay there. A lot of my stuff travels around around Australia so I need it to be sturdy it'll go in a, in a box it'll travel it'll you know get on a plane it'll go across the country oh, so those were the days <laughs> uh, yes what's a plane yes. I know and I just had a second question the charms are they available individually or as part of the kit the bow charms some are in if if they're if they're like this one is a kit mm -hmm. Yep, that, that, that particular together. design I think there's two of them there in the kit mm -hmm. the charm is available in there right it's in the, it's in the kit, mm -hmm. or you can buy the charms individually. Right, so both. Like if you, someone wants to do an order and they want some charms and they're not up online, mm -hmm. send me a message like please include, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and I will tend to it. Or you know, I'll call them. Yep. 
But if, you, if they want something extra that's not online that, that I do have, just send me a message. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I and I'll tend to it because I know I know people want uh, especially that charm. Mm. That, just yeah. and and the jump rings are in there as well, so you don't have to go. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, the jump rings are in there as well, and all the all the bling and everything. Yeah, yeah if it's kit, yeah. and usually on there, I'll tell you on the kit what's included. Oh, excellent! So, you have thought yeah. of everything. Well, I try to. I try to. I do. You know. You know. Sometimes yeah, I miss things, but that's okay. Yeah. And it now is the time for us to get started for Christmas and start thinking about it. Mm. Think something positive and something to work towards. And Christmas is that thing for me. Definitely. That I start thinking about Christmas and how am I going to decorate the house? How am I going to decorate my tree? My tree is uh, my ornaments on my tree. Ninety-five percent of them I've made oh, and made. Lovely, excellent. Now, if people were thinking of personalised ornaments for Christmas, sort of, when would you like them to get in touch? Like, what's sort of the latest you'd really like them thinking about that? Probably, you know, it depends if they're posting them or keeping them or, or handing them out. Mm. Mid to end November. Right. Okay. You know, the, the sooner the better because if we get tied up with work and too, and too many of them, and I don't know what the post will be like by then either. So that's another thing. So the earlier the better, like organise how many names you want. And, you know, you've got to write in, like there's a box in there where you can write the name that you want. Now the way you write it is the way it will be done. So if you put no capitals or if you put all lowercase, that's what you're going to get. Right, okay. We've made it, we've made it there's a box in there that yep. you can actually type in. Yep. And if you make the spelling mistake, well, Yep, yeah. it's up to you. <laughs> that is fair check enough. Before you go, <laughs> click that button. Just just check your spelling first. Yeah, excellent. Or, or check with the person that you're giving to that that's the correct way that they spell their name. I know. It can be such a challenge sometimes. I know. I mean, I'm a Sophie with an F and everyone always puts PH. I know. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't worry me. It doesn't worry me, but that, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I've got a, a name that can be spelt both ways. Yeah, so it, exactly. It doesn't matter. Nice and flexible. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Sophie with an F, thank you so much for joining us today <laughs> and showing us those fantastic range of scrap mat kits and charms and MDF. And I'm, yep, all full of Christmas spirit and ready to get started myself. Time, time for all of us to get started for Christmas. Excellent. And so where is the best place to find all of those wonderful things? scrapmats.com scrapmats.com excellent and there is a link right above this video as well so people will be able to find it Thank you. and i've popped the link to the online show kits in there as well so people can yes. go and see the frame kits and, and all the screens yep. and, and i'll go online and put in in one of the comments what the code is yeah for that because yeah so that people will know it and the easiest thing to do is just copy paste it mm -hmm. Yep. Copy paste that Copy coding, paste yeah. is a wonderful thing in computer. Oh, language. I love copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Sophie, and of course, Andrew in the background as well. Thank you so much for helping us out with celebrating Craft Online this weekend. Bye, Bye everyone. Okay, thank thanks, you. Sophie. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. As I said, Sophie always just comes up with some amazing tips and tricks. Um, Honestly, I thought my heart was going to stop when she bent that chipboard. But again, it just reminds us to know your craft supplies, use them, try them in different ways and see what they can do because sometimes we just get so fixated on what we see in front of us and not what some of the other possibilities might be. So check out the brand new Scrap Mats website. Like they said, click on the events and then see all the things that Sophie showed us today. If you do want those personalised charms, I would suggest that you get yourself organised and get them ordered sooner rather than later because I think they're going to be a very hot item with scrap mats this year so thank you all so much for joining us on this session as p2p craft online with scrap mats give us a heart give us a like share us with your crafty friends leave us a comment any questions like sophie said she'll go back and answer them throughout the weekend and i'm so looking forward to sharing the rest of the online show with you like we said over 30 demonstrations with a whole heap of retailers and guest artists and it really is lovely just to come together catch up with people that we just wouldn't normally see especially while we're all in lockdown and just really um connect through crafting so this is michelle signing off i hope you have a crafty day